Wallap. Wallap means he's talking to people and understand each other properly. My own country, it's got a lot of dreaming stories from when the pledge was created. We have to cherish that and, and keep that. My name, David Newry. Uh, it's my Western name. I have a Mirong name as well, which is called Nyungungung. And the name comes from the water. So my name is from, the, and from this very place now. This is my playground here. We used to come down the river here and swim here and hunt at the same time. We were educated more the traditional way, Mirong way, than the Western way. It's all about learning about the landscape itself, you know? How we are attached to the country, about understanding and learning of the whole environment around us. I didn't learn much English in school because I left when I was 11. Yeah, I didn't talk to adults too much. But many of my English came because of reading comics. And after stock work, each night I'd have a torch on my shoulder and read the Marvel comic. I think I must have picked up a lot of English there. Leaves it got you. English and Aboriginal language are so far apart. You know, you say something in my language, there's no way an English person can understand that. Or, or if we put it the other way, try and reverse that, it's the same. Back in 1976, I was amongst our friends, you know, all my mates, and the police came up and said, look, we have to speak to you about something that happened last night. And the next day I got confronted by the justice of the peace court. I didn't know what to do. and. Our parents couldn't be there to speak for us on our behalf. They didn't even understand English. They just sentenced me to three weeks in prison because I couldn't speak English to really clarify what happened. And like I said, I didn't have a choice just to hear what they say and just got sent off. Looking back, I think it was one of those difficult times that we had to face and go through, you know. And I don't want to see other young people end up in that same situation. From an Aboriginal perspective, the Kimberley alone, in two hours driving time, you're basically in another language. By the time you get from one end of the Kimberley to the other, you probably cross about nearly 30 different language groups. My name is Deanne Lightfoot. I'm the Chief Executive Officer for Aboriginal Interpreting WA. English is not a first, second or third language for many Aboriginal language speakers. And so building that communication and building that trust is critically important, especially in a situation between community and police. It starts to build an element of respect. From there, people get to actually understand what their obligations and what their rights are. My name's Jade Murray I'm an inspector with the WA Police. I um, have been with WA Police for about 21 years. So there are a few challenges as a police officer, and I think one of them is our history. To be credible, acknowledge what we've shared in the past that hasn't been great. I've had communication issues a number of times as a police officer. I remember so many interactions I had where you kind of rely on one word answers from people, but that is an understanding. Understanding is the ability to actually give it a knowing response. There's a big difference. The inspiration behind the Yarning app is we, as police, don't necessarily provide the best information to Aboriginal people in terms of language. We're not providing that same degree of care. And that was the genesis, really, of how Yarning was born. Through the relationship that WA Police have with ACOTUS, so ACOTUS have built a number of applications with and for WA Police. They understood the app that we wanted to produce. Yarning is an application that provides spoken messages in Aboriginal languages to Aboriginal community members. The officer opens the application up, chooses the location, chooses the appropriate language and presses the button. The message is then spoken in language that person pre-recorded by accredited interpreters from the Aboriginal Interpreting Service around rights, around responsibilities for people. The functionality of the app actually allows, with the press of one button, the Aboriginal Interpreting Service is contacted, goes through to their call centre. Within very short order, the services of an interpreter are provisioned straight away. 
But as amazing as the technology is, it's having a human being on the other end of it, Aboriginal interpreting service of WA, that can provide us that assistance is, is fundamental. When people can hear that message in their own language, it really breaks down barriers and ensures communication and understanding. All the vital information that needs to be taught is told through yarning, meaning you're talking to each other. When you use another language towards an indigenous person, they don't feel comfortable that you're treating them like someone else. But if you use their language towards them, you're treating them as to who they are. It makes them proud that they are Aboriginal people from that language group. The concept of yarning was recognised worldwide and Microsoft chose it amongst a whole range of other applications as being the recipient of their Inclusion Changemaker Award. Everybody deserves to understand and be understood. Words are important, language is important. Well, I hope everybody can be understood and respected for who they are. Communication is speaking knowing you've been heard, but importantly, listening as well. Language is something that we're part of. We cannot throw our language away. Language, culture and kinship, they come as one.